November market trends report was just released highlighting October's data. And while I find myself blessed to be in Mexico for just a few days, I realize that the data is not gonna wait for me. I'm gonna have to talk to somebody about that. Well, in the meantime, as I dive through this data, I realize that it simply screams one phrase. There is no rest for the weary. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, right now seems to be a turbulent, stressful market. You're trying to decide what are the economics going to lead to? Where's the election going to go? And I'm not even gonna go there. But what I do know is this, sellers, you've never had a better time to sell. Now I do know that many of you have to turn around and buy, and you're trying to figure out how to do that. Buyers, now is an incredible time with these low interest rates. I get it, inventory has literally never been lower. And we're seeing that this increase in demand and the lack of supply is allowing for or pushing an increased appreciation levels. I mean, FHFA came out with a national appreciation of 8%. Remember the national historical average of appreciation is 3.6%? That's crazy to me. Key Schiller also came out high at 5.7%. Locally, we're seeing extreme numbers, both average and medium double digit growth. Now, what does this mean? Is it the bubble gonna burst? It's just not gonna happen. Forbearances spiked up slightly at the end of October. And this had to do with the fact that FHA and Ginnie Mae, FHA VA, came out saying that they would allow people to get into forbearance through the end of the year. Now think about that, that's actually a really good thing. Yes, forbearances ticked up slightly, but it wasn't new forbearances, it was reinstating old forbearances, coming back in, protecting themselves. Because now with this extension, they have 12 months, many of them could see protection through the end of 2021 to a point to where their jobs will be secure again. Meanwhile, we're seeing the economy has regained two thirds of what it lost last quarter. Savings is up. Uh, incomes are up. These economics allow for continued strength. And I know COVID cases are also up. And we're seeing many countries in Europe close down. And we have to worry what's going to happen here. But these strong economics provide stability going into times of uncertainty. And the times of uncertainty also allow for lower interest rates. Again, more demand and a place when I know we still have lack of supply, in fact, record low supply. So hang in there. Don't give up just because you can't find the perfect home right away. Buyers continue to strive to find that home. And if it's not the perfect home, maybe it's the perfect investment. But this is the time to take advantage of these low interest rates because they're gonna allow you to get into that bigger home that you did not even think was possible. So if you haven't already talked to your lender, now is the time to really find out what you can afford. And sellers, also talk to your agent. Find out what creative strategies will allow you to stay in the home longer while you're looking for your next home. There are ways. And this isn't going away anytime soon. So don't give up. Now is not the time to sit on the sidelines thinking that the housing market's going to bust because it won't. The fundamentals are too strong. We're going to continue to see appreciation. Hopefully not at this extreme pace but we're gonna to continue to see appreciation. While you're sitting on the sidelines, you're losing out on that opportunity. If you have any questions at all, if I can be of service, please reach out. Nicole Ruth, the Ruth Team of Fairway Mortgage, keeping you updated.